Hi, my name is Jack Buchanan, and I'm a ninth grader at Lincoln High School. And I wrote this poem for my mother. You make me break on the inside every time I've seen you struggle up the stairs or fall getting into bed. My heart has shattered into a million tiny pieces like glass from a broken window when you used to stumble to the bathroom to dry heat. And it melted when you cried on your birthday because you were too sick to move. My melted heart oozed through my body like syrup. It crawled through my veins when you shaved off the thin matted hair you had left. And the first time you fell, it rushed forward until there was a seething, heaving, bleeding hot bubble under my chest, so full of bottled emotions that I overloaded my body and fainted. And then, then you left. You checked out. You left me standing alone in the endless desert of my emotions. You and dad held secrets from me and little brother like FBI undercover, lips sealed, classified. I doubt if we'd even find out if you died. And I understand that dad has never been one for words, but that doesn't make it hurt any less when I can still feel that bubble under my chest. And your body is alive, but sometimes I think it's just there to torment and tease the rest of the people who love you to act like the walking corpse who takes every action with a fraction of the reaction she used to have. My mother might actually realize there are people who love you, people who want you to check back into the hotel of your mind, pull me from my desert and love me again. People who want you to stand up and fight like you care, like there's actually a chance you might beat this thing, actually a chance you'd live to see your oldest graduate to get my cap and gown, meet a woman, settle down, hold your grandkids, love them all, hang old pictures on a wall, redecorate, move to a new place, and flourish with age like the flower I know you are. But no, instead you choose to be a rotting log, lying in wait until you're consumed by the cancer in your pancreas. And I know that because of it, you have to set up a pain-possessing picket fence to hold your emotions at bay. And when your loved ones wanted in, you didn't have the grit to open the gate. And all I wanted to do was cry. But my eyes kept tormenting me, kept invisible corks in my ducts, building pressure in my face, then my chest, pressure in my body, building up to an explosion. But somewhere along the very long line, I must have leaked. And for two long years, your diagnosis never improved. For two long years, I wondered if the plethora of poisons in your system did anything at all. For two long years, I've watched you die. And my very being has become numb. So feeling anything at all is rare. And it kills me to say that I don't care. 